In this video, I'll be introducing some of the techniques to film your healing plants presentation. I'll be talking about the parts of the video to include and some technical details and ways you may reduce the size to improve your ability to upload over limited bandwidth. The healing plants video should start with the plants you intend to use. I'll be uh, demonstrating a basic uh, setting up of an herbal steam bath known as Shrawak in Koshai or Umlap here on Pompeii. This particular plant is a plant that I'll include in an herbal steam bath if I've got a chest cough. This is the plant Fulcamaria enormis known on uh, uh, Koshai is Kaiwak, and known here on Pompeii as Ilau. Another plant that I'll include in an herbal steam bath is a Simum tenui florum seen here. This plant is known as Aring on Koshai, Katering here on Pompeii, Warung in Truk, and Lamar on Yap proper. This is a plant I'll use if I have uh, nasal congestion, sinus congestion, upper respiratory congestion with a cold. I'll add that in for that aspect of the cold. Some people will add the leaves of the Morinda citrifolia tree, seen here, recognizable by the small fruit there, uh, and use those in their herbal steam bath. This tree is known in Polynesian as Noni, here on Pompe is Waipul, and as E over on Koshrai. You all know the name of this tree for your own island. The fruit are also medicinal, as are the roots and many other parts of this particular tree. Uh, I don't actually often use it because uh, when I do use it in my herbal steam baths, I, I feel like I have trouble breathing. So I actually don't use this one, but many people do. Here on Pompeii, some people will use this plant, Piper Ponapensa, in their herbal steam bath. On Pompeii, it's known as Conuc. The Ponapensa in the name means that this pepper plant is found on Pompeii, Piper Ponapensa, unique to Pompeii. This is not the same thing as the leaf used in beetle nut. This is not uh, the light leaf that's referred to here as Kapoi. That's actually a relative called Piper beetle. The name that you hear with the beetle nut comes from the actually the leaf, Piper beetle. Uh, and this is Piper ponapensa. These uh, Piper plants are all in the pepper family. That's what Piper means. So this is in the pepper family. Another member of that family is the uh, Piper nigrum, black pepper. Another member is Piper monethisticum, which is locally known here on Pompeii as Sakao, known in some other parts of the Pacific as Kava or Yangonin. But this is another plant that sometimes gets added to a steam bath by some people. So the next task will be to boil a pot of water, as seen here. Covering it helps it boil. Use hot pads to move the boiling hot water once it's boiled off of the stove and down to the floor. You'll want to place a hot pad on the floor and then put the pot on top of the hot pad on the floor. Sit down next to the pot and have someone cover you with a sheet. Very carefully crack the cover and put the plants inside the pot underneath the sheet. Okay, be careful not to burn yourself on the steam. When you do this, do be careful. Here you can see the plants in the water. One basically remains under the sheet, breathing the herb-laced steam until the pot produces no more steam. That might be 15 or 20 minutes. 
breathe the steam in, uh, breathe deep, and then when you're done, take the plants out and add the water to a basin with a little bit more water and bathe with the plant-infused water. This should be repeated for four days, usually in the evening before bedtime. Uh, but if you have a severe enough cold, it could be morning and evening. But done for four, at least four days, four evenings. Um, like many local traditional medicines, there's a medicine and there's a dosage. Here the dosage is four and four days. I'll now be showing you how I put together the video that you just watched. That video consists of five segments of video with audio and five still photos, as can be seen here. And I'll be using software called InShot, which is available both for Android and iOS. It's free and uh, allows you to put together video clips with still shots, lay over audio tracks, and add text. So I'll open up InShot, tell it I want a video, and I'll go ahead, this is the first one I want, uh, that, 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 uh, that, I need those five segments there. Uh, some of the others are works in progress, but those are the five I shot earlier today with the uh, camera system. And then uh, I'll grab those five photos. I need that, 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 and that photo there. So I'll go ahead and add those in. And now I've got the uh, video, and I can play that, and I can listen to the track, and... And that sort of thing. Down here, if I want to, I can change the order of any segments I've got. Uh, I drag, just click and you know, press and drag, and you can change the order. Uh, and you have some other things you can do here. These segments, I've already recorded the audio, so I don't need to worry about these segments. That segment and the next segment. So I'm going to jump back to this. This is my first segment that's actually... Uh, got no audio and so I'm going to add audio to this because that's a still photo that I took And so I just click on music. That's where the rec record voiceover recording is It's on the under music and you, I'll click on record and now I can do a voice When I'm done I press check and there's my voiceover track if I tap it, I can delete it, I can edit it, <coughs> I can do a number of different things uh, with it from here. But generally I'm just going to lay down a voiceover and, and be done. The voiceover can be done in different segments, the segments themselves can actually be dragged and moved around so if you didn't start and stop in the right place you can move it after the fact. So that that's how you can do voiceover still pictures that are now knitted together. So that now my video, there's a pot, and then the voiceover. So you can see I transitioned from the pot to the uh, to the gloves. Press check. If I wanted to add text on top, I just click on the text button, uh, and I can type text in here. Actually, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and go back. Whoop! Put that back. I'm going to go back. I can to where I want to describe one of the plants and uh, tap text this plant I'm gonna want to call it Fulcomeria enormous and I'll slide that down press check and I'll actually put it where I wanted to go if I want to edit that text I can if I want to try to change the color to something different find something that might show up better I can. White seems to look the best though, so I'll run it white. And again, as I say, I'll position that down down here where it can be seen. And I can change its run time. It's set to run for about five seconds here, but <clears throat> I can alter that by tapping here and dragging. And now it will display for longer if I want to. When I've got it the way I want it to look, I can simply press check 
and so I can add words to my video this way through the text editing function so now I've got my my video it, <clears throat> it uh, you can see that here it continues along section by section so there we go from one section to the next this is a transition maybe I'll set that to be a a smooth blend or something between the two as you see here where it blends to the next one so I can set transitions between segments but I've now got all the segments together <clears throat> and the next thing I'll do is save it I'll just press save save again and I'll I want to save it 720p it'll reduce as you can see the size by more than a factor of two and that will allow me to upload much more quickly now the free version is supported by ads just ignore the ads you can just close the ad the ad will, and now it will convert and save that video so the video is now saved see it says check so I'll go back I'll go back again I'll go ahead and say draft that way I can go back if I want to I can click on video there's my draft and I can go back and edit that again if I need to or want to I can do that so but the next thing I'll do is I'll go to YouTube and I'll upload my video just click on the upload there's my video 441 tap on that and I can upload it because I've reduced it to a 720p high density HD file it'll upload much faster I'll give it a title uh, <clears throat> that, that uh, it, it has some meaning you know this might be my uh, herbal steam bath treatment. something like that herbal steam bath treatment I can add a description if I want and I can add a location if I want to and then I can upload this file to YouTube uh, and once it's uploaded, I'll get a URL uh, it'll, that will tell me uh, that you can then uh, use to uh, link to the file and to uh, uh, complete the the uh, presentation assignment by uh, sending me that URL so I can see the video. So that's your uh, that's the core to how to edit and put together the video is to use the uh, something like InShot to do that.